I would not buy them ever again. Really? They're that good? <laughs> Dude, we just saw grossness on your tongue. That was gross. Please not share that again. Well, I don't do this. I've never actually done this. I'm not going to even try to preface this as very well. But so we don't do this ever. However, I do things at the store when we're shopping for groceries that are kind of weird and I try weird crazy things that we find and so we were walking by the beer aisle and I saw these really crazy beers that I always see and I never try because I don't drink alcohol a lot ever. Do I? No. I don't drink do I? No. No. Affidavit. Uh, yeah. Remember that video a long time ago where he had his gallbladder taken out? Yeah. He doesn't drink very much anymore. No, I didn't drink before the gallbladder very much. Anyway, but there's some crazy things that we found in the store so I just decided to try a new thing. And so we're going to try new thing video. And um, so in this case, it happens to be weird beers and some strange chips, right? This is why I don't take him to the store. This, this could be true. I'm not pushing alcohol. I don't recommend drinking it. Actually, I don't tell people to drink alcohol at all. All my friends that drink alcohol are like, oh, you're such big. Yeah, I don't think you guys should drink. However, these beers look really, really weird. So we had to try them. And mom drinks a lot, right? Oh yeah. I mean, she's tons. a heavy drinker. Heavy drinker. Look. So let's go through our uh, buffet cornucopia of summer goodness. So you should use these on your summer, depending on the outcome of this video. You should go buy these for your summer uh, picnics. We have dill pickle chips, which are really awesome in the plains of Nebraska. These aren't really new for me, although this brand is new for me. Then we have the Southern Biscuits and Gravy Potato Chips from Lay's. Apparently an award winner from somebody that sent something in. So here we have Crush. I don't know. This. Cucumber Sour Ten Barrel Brewing Company. Um, I don't know where these guys are actually from. We'll look that up before we start drinking them. But they came in this nice old-timey... Old-timey. That's, that's sad. <laughs> um, the classic can thing where I explained to Cupcake that this is how we used to rule the animal kingdom just with our trash. We threw these in the trash and animals died and we win. Anyway, um, it's got this weird band on it. I don't know what this weird band is. Um, can you crush? Can you crush? So I guess it's a question is, can you drink this? Uh, there's a bunch of words there that I'm not going to read. Moving on to the other beers. Citradelic. This is made with exotic limes. I'm not really sure what makes an exotic lime. They may dress it up in boas and skimpy clothes, but it's an exotic lime. So that's got to be tasty, right? Um, and then we got this is out of San Diego. The pineapple sculpin ballast point. Made with pineapple. So that seemed odd enough. And so there we go. So we're going to have uh, pineapple beer, whatever this cucumber sour thing is called Crush, which is frightening, and some sexy lime pineapple. So I don't know what this is. X rated beer or X rated limes. First off, we can clear the table a little bit here. So, first off, we're going to try the chips. And since the kids are desperate to try these potato chips, we're going to try the chips first, right? Yeah. So, mom, would you? open these we'll have these fine chip products with the kids and see what the kids perspective is on the fine picnic like chips that you should use or not use mom's having a terrible time with the bag already oh she's gonna stab that bag get it get it oh my god wow she's brutal with the knife that bag's gonna be useless what did you do to the bag look at that bag oh my god we can't even see the brand of dill it's ill pickle chips You've killed the D. All right, all right, dude. Reach in there and grab your dill pickle chip. All right, and you gotta tell us what you taste like, okay? okay. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dude? <laughs> Come on, spit it out. Not the chip, just spit your words out. It kinda tastes, it, it tastes sour, but good. All right, cupcake, are you ready? Yeah. Here's your chip. Is that good? Come on. You didn't break your braces. Hurry up. Let's go. Well, what? it tastes sort of, tastes like it has too much seasoning on it. But does it taste like pickles? Yeah, it definitely tastes like pickles. But it's too much pickles. Yeah, it doesn't taste like the 
actual pickle. It just tastes like the juice that comes out of the pickle. Well, that seems wise. All right, Mom, stick one of those chips in your face. I've had dill pickles before. Not like this. I, I yes. Like in this. chip form? Yeah, we All right, come on, show me your face. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. It same? It's like they've been soaked in pickle juice. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah. Yeah, that's good chips. I recommend those chips for your picnic. Would you guys recommend those chips for their picnic? Yeah, I guess so. They're pretty tasty, huh, dude? Yeah. You like them? You don't even have to bring chip uh, pickles to their picnic if you have those. <laughs> right. Oh, the dude's going for a second one. They're that good. Oh, see? There you go. Vote of confidence in the great pickle chip. Southern Biscuits and Gravy Award winner, 2015 flavor winner. All right, dude, you're first. This is biscuits and gravy, man. <laughs> what does that mean, dude? Is that good or bad? I'm okay with biscuits and gravy. I don't, I don't really like them, but they do taste like biscuits and gravy. The chips? Like they good? Would you take them on a picnic? What? Would you eat them for breakfast? Well, if I, if I had to choose between this or um, a real one, I would choose this. Okay, mom, try the biscuits. You know, no. chips are not healthy for you to begin with. This no, I think these are a good like breakfast replacement is what these are. A heart attack waiting to happen. No, breakfast replacement. <laughs> <laughs> would you eat those for breakfast? No. Would you take them on a picnic? No. Would you take them to Spain? No. Okay. I would not buy them ever again. Really? They're that good? <laughs> Dude, we just saw grossness on your tongue. That was gross. Please not share that again. All right, cupcake. I'm a little nervous now. Oh, uh, come on. Try them out. It's fine. It's fine. Hey. All right, cupcakes. No, no sniffing. Ew, it smells really bad. You don't snort biscuits and gravy. You eat them. Come on. Come on. In your face hole. That's gross. What? You didn't even finish it. You're walking away. Ew, it tastes like somebody threw up. What? How do you know that? It tastes like throw up. It oh. tastes like biscuits and gravy that's been on the line for like three or four hours. No way. It's just sitting there way too long. All right. It should have been thrown out. Hour people don't ago. know. I like biscuits and gravy. Yeah, no, you're not many, gonna like this. Many a biscuit you like and gravy. Good biscuits and gravy. So this, this is awful. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, don't snort it. You eat it. <laughs> See, they're terrible. Actually, pretty good. Yeah. I could eat those. Yeah. Do they look like down there? Okay, you don't have to share those with anybody. Dude, these are good, huh? Yeah. Again Dude, eat them up. I could eat those. No, I couldn't eat those for breakfast. No. But I would eat those with like Gross. vegetables. If I was eating with vegetarians, I would take these and eat their food with these, so it felt like I was eating meat. That would work. They good, right, dude? All right. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Gross. Vote no. Mom definitely votes no. Dude, would you take those on a picnic? Sure. Would you eat those for breakfast? Sure. Would you eat those with a vegetarian? Sure. Okay. Get some water before we start with my fine 1980 something Max nice Headroom cup. Don't worry, he's got 50 more of those in the garage. I got hundreds. <laughs> That's a long story. All right, we gotta get into this because I got my Godzilla bottle opener. Godzilla. All right, so we're gonna try the most common one first, the pineapple sculpin from Ballast Point in San Diego. It's the other way. Come on, Godzilla. All right, here we go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just say it. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this one. Tastes, wow, it tastes like rind. It's like they took the pineapple rind. Yeah, it's very, it smells like pineapple. <laughs> oh. Mm. See the fish on the front? I think I'm, I'm eating that fish right now. It's just like hops and pineapple. It's no, not, it's not. It's, it's not like. Good. Ah, God! I don't drink, and this is probably a reason why. This tastes terrible. 
I'm sorry, Ballast Point. I like you. I like your labels. Very hoppy. Hoppy with a hint of pineapple. Ah, uh, burn the top of my mouth a little bit. Yeah, I need to eat some. Yeah, let me get that out of my mouth here. Wow. Oh. I feel like I'm eating biscuits and gravy right now. Biscuits and gravy in my face. It's so gross. They're so good. So gross. They're so good. All right, we're going to get the sexy limes going here. And I don't know if you noticed, but they have speakers inside their limes. I know. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure if that's what makes them sexy or exotic. Or exotic. Again, this is New Belgium. That's brewed in Fort Collins. Yeah, Fort Collins, Colorado, where they couldn't make Coors. They had to go up the street and make other beer. I think maybe it could be a subsidiary Coors. It's going to taste weird with biscuits and gravy. Here, you go first. Tastes good, huh? <coughs> no, sorry. Some of it went down the wrong way. But it's actually not bad. It's like a, a Corona with a lot of lime in it. Like if you squeezed a whole bunch of lime and a Corona, that's what you get. Very yeah, that's light. That's actually beer. pretty good. Exotic lime ale is pretty tasty. Yep. That's actually I could potentially drink an eighth of this bottle. <laughs> this is the one that started this whole video today. As I saw this and I'm like, what is that? So here we go. Ten barrel brewing company. That is so so secretive they won't say where they actually are on this can which is a little really? frightening it says beer with artificial cucumber flavor now Ooh. cucumber doesn't taste oh yeah that's okay are you ready <laughs> yeah <laughs> what? Just really come on brewed to appeal to any palate or versions of the sour craze this award-winning beer is light crisp and refreshing all right I'm made for that. you to crush anywhere right. anytime right. So here we go. Oh, it smells like cucumber water. That kind of smells good. But it's fake cucumber. Why would you fake cucumber juice? I don't know, but the beer is starting to kill me. <clears throat> okay. You haven't even had any. I had that beer. Oh, okay. That's enough. All right. Good. <laughs> You're like a cat. Oh it's my god. Bad. Wow, that's crazy sourness. It's it, it gets you. It's like, oh, this could be nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's different, huh? I don't like beer, it's but this is super even, light. It's not even like beer. It doesn't like, even taste like beer. Cucumber like, flavored fizzy water. It tastes like a little, little tiny bit of hint of beer. It tastes like beer. beer. Taste. It does not taste like beer. I'm, I'm certain it's alcoholic because it says so. Wow, well, there's something wrong with my mouth because it does weird things to my face when I drink it. It goes right in here and it goes right in your tongue and it goes and then it rips really? your ears out. Is yeah. that, that happening? That's exactly it's what it's not happening in that it's way. It's happened okay. three times so far. Right, here, I'll see if I can get that same. Get it effect. under your tongue. Under my under tongue. Why are you putting this It just happens. Under your it flows. <laughs> I was trying to put it under. I never drink by putting things under my tongue. Wow. Who puts stuff under their tongue? You gotta taste it. You gotta swish it around. It's like wine. <laughs> this would be fun at a picnic. You just don't want to drink this as your main beer. In fact, I need water. Uh, Max. It's, it's got more of a cidery feel to it than a beer feel. Does that make sense? Kind of. If you guys have ever had like hard apple cider or hard pear cider, this is like hard cucumber cider. No. It's like sucking on a lemon it's for weird. an hour. The Ugh. recap. You should yeah. take the pickle chips. Name your brand because I've had a lot of pickle chips and they're very good. You should take the biscuits and gravy, but not a lot of them because people like her and Cupcake, they won't like them. I'm sorry, San Diego, but that's not for us. Um, wait, that's not the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. The lime I'm is a keeper. The citradelic is a keeper. Cucumber <laughs> sour from Crush. Um, yeah, you should get this. If nothing else, to try it with friends, it is really pretty awesome. I could, we're going to keep this because I like this in a weird way. I don't know why. Okay. Nice. All right. So that's the first annual 
Should you take this on your picnic video? For Samuel? Really do this once a year? I don't know. We might do it more often. Should you take it on your Halloween party? I don't know. That's true. Should you take it to your Thanksgiving party? That'd be kind of weird. Happy picnic. Thank you.